by a converter the digital to analog converter is also known as d by a converter d to a converter etc d by a conversion is the process of taking a value represented in digital code such as straight binary or bcd and converting it to a voltage or current which is proportional to the digital value symbolically we can represent d by a converter like this where the square wave shows the digital input and the sine wave shows the analog output this analog output will be always proportional to the digital input so generally we can write analog output is equal to k into digital input where k is a constant value for a given dac dacs are used in musical players to convert digital data streams into analog audio signals it is also used in television mobile phones etc let's solve a basic level problem of dac for a 5 bit dac the digital input of 10010 gives an output voltage of 10 millivolt what will be the output voltage for a digital input of 11101 the digital input 10010 gives the analog output 10 millivolt the relation connecting analog output to digital input is analog output is equal to k into digital input we have to find the decimal equivalent of 10010 for the calculation 1 0 0 1 0 the first value is 2 raised to 0 the lsp which is 0 2 raised to 1 next digit that is 2 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 3 values are zeros the msp value is 2 raised to 4 that is 16 so the decimal equivalent is 16 plus 2 that is 18 10 millivolt is equal to k into 18 from this we get the value of k is equal to 0 0.55 millivolt by using this k value we can find the analog output of 11101 the decimal equivalent of 11101 is 29 then v out is equal to k values here and decimal equivalent value so the answer will be 15.95 millivolt types of dac different types of dacs are pulse width modulator oversampling dac binary weighted dac cyclic dac thermometer coded dac etc let's see about binary weighted DAC. It contains individual electrical components for each bit of the DAC connected to an operational amplifier. Switched capacitor DAC it is a type of binary weighted DAC which contains a parallel capacitor network. The R2R ladder DAC it uses repeated resistors of values R and 2R. DAC using a summing amplifier. We can use the principle of summing amplifier to prepare DAC as shown here. The resistors R, 2R and 4R are connected to the input of an op-amp and R is taken as the feedback resistor. V0, V1, V2 are given as the voltages corresponding to the 3 bit digital input. It produces the current through the resistors R, 2R, and 4R, and the sum of all this current is flowing through the resistor R as I. So the output voltage of the op amp is V out is equal to minus I into R, or we can represent. V out is equal to minus R into V2 by R plus V1 by 2R plus V0 by 4R in terms of voltages. Simplifying we get 
minus 1 by 4 v0 plus 2 v1 plus 4 v2. Now let's consider a input signal 0, 1, 0. Just substitute the values of voltages in the equation and we get the answer as minus 0 0.5 volt. So minus 0 0.5 volt will be the analog output corresponds to the input signal 0, 1, 0. When the number of bits increases, the number of resistance required is also increases. So the main disadvantage of this type of DAC is since the resistances are of different values, the inaccuracy of any resistance value may cause for an error in the output voltage. In a summing amplifier DAC, if the digital input is 1011, the corresponding output voltage will be given the digital input as 0 or 5 volt. It is given a 4 bit input 1011 and the state of digital input is given as 0 volt as the lower state and 5 volt as the upper state. The expression for the conversion of 4 bit digital signal to analog signal in terms of its bits is minus 1 by 8 into B0 plus 2 B1 plus 4 B2 plus 8 B3 where the value of B0 that is LSB is 1, B1 is 1, B0 is 0 and B3 is 1. Now substitute the voltage value corresponds to the states that is for 1 it is 5 volt and for 0 it is 0 volt. Then the expression for output voltage will be getting like this. Now do the calculations completely then we will get the final analog output as minus 6.875 volt. R2 or binary ladder DAC. It is a very commonly used DAC because it is having more accuracy and speed. We have seen in the case of summing amplifier DAC the different values of resistors and its inaccuracy causes for the error in the output. Since in R2 or binary ladder DAC we are using the same value for the resistors so we don't have the disadvantage like summing amplifier DAC. The figure shows a 3 bit R2 or binary ladder DAC where we have used the resistors R and 2R. We are giving the input signal through this terminal and if the state of the input signal is 1, we are connecting the terminal to V input. Otherwise, we are earthing it. A reference voltage V reference is given through the resistor R. RF is the feedback resistor of the op amp and V output gives the analog output of DAC. Equivalent resistance of ladder network. As in R to R DAC, we use the ladder of resistors. We need to find the equivalent resistance or the Thevenin's resistance to calculate the output. Let's see how it is. The ladder of resistors is shown as below, where we have given P0 as 1, B1 as 0, where it is earthed, and B2 is also as 0. To calculate the Thevenin's resistance, we have to keep V reference as 0. So, we get the ladder of 2R and 2R here as the parallel connection of resistors. So, the equivalent resistance will be 2R parallel 2R is equal to R. Now, we can simplify the circuit as like this, where we have used this equivalent resistance instead of two 2 R resistors. Now again we have to consider the network of resistors here where R and R are connected in series with the parallel to 2 R. So the equivalent resistance again will become as R. Now again simplify the circuit where we use the equivalent resistance here and we have another R which is in series with that R and 2R which is in parallel with the, the R. Then we get the equal distance again as R. Now let's find out Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Consider the case B0 is 1, 
B1 is 0 and B2 is 0. The reference voltage is available through B0 across the resistors. So we can draw the circuit diagram as like this. Now the equivalent voltage available through the resistors is V reference into 2R divided by 2R plus 2R that is V reference by 2. So with this equivalent voltage we can draw the diagram with the other resistors available like this. Now the equivalent voltage across these resistors is V reference by 2 into 2R divided by 2R plus 2R that is V reference by 4. So now we have to draw the final circuit diagram with the resistors available as V reference by 4, R, R and 2R. So we get the final equivalent voltage V reference by 4 into 2R divided by 2R plus 2R that is V reference by 8. So V reference by 8 is the thevenin's voltage according to B0 is 1, B1 is 0 and B2 is 0. Now let's find out the value of thevenin's voltage for different values of B0, B1 and B2. We have already found out the value for thevenin's voltage for 1, 0, 0 case that is V reference by 8. For 0, 1, 0 it is V reference by 4 and 1, 0, 0 it is V reference by 2. For 1, 1, 1 using the superposition principle we can just sum up or that is V reference by 2 plus V reference by 4 plus V reference by 8. In general for the 3 bit case we can write the expression for thevenin's voltage as V reference into B0 by 8 plus B1 by 4 plus B2 by 2 where the denominator for B0 will be 2Q as it is 3 bit case. For n bit case the voltage of ladder network which we can represent as VR2R can be written as V reference into B0 by 2 raised to n plus B1 by 2 raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus B n minus 1 divided by 2. Output voltage of DAC. To find the output voltage of DAC, we have to redraw the DAC circuit with the thevenin's voltage and the resistance as given. The output voltage expression is minus RF by R into VR to R. We have to substitute the value of VR to R and we get the final expression like this. 